Condensate traps for HVAC drain systems in all shapes and sizes are available from supply houses and field fabricators with little or no knowledge of pressure conditions and condensate flow rates. This chart shows some of the types of traps available. Some are more prone to failure than others, but all, including the best possible geometry, are subject to failure as a result of frequent empty operation or flow blockage. Building owners and HVAC contractors contend with trap maintenance on a regular basis. Empty trap operation and trap flow blockage cause damage to the air conditioning system. Yes, yeah, trap. The consequences of trap evaporation and flow blockage are unseen by the casual observer, but they can be illustrated vividly using laboratory simulated air handlers with transparent panels. These simulators allow building owners and other concerned parties to see and understand how trap failures cause damage and contamination to their air handlers and buildings. Just as in a real system, air is drawn through the filter, the cooling coil, across the drain pan, and into the fan. With the best possible trap geometry, the effect of evaporation is illustrated with an empty trap. The laboratory simulator is being operated with a negative one inch of water pressure. Systems are often operated at this or more negative pressures. During startup, after a heating cycle, like for summer cooling, trap water is evaporated, allowing air ingestion. Deflection of the benzene lighter flame shows how contaminated air can be drawn into the unit, and the introduction of smoke near the drain outlet shows how polluted air can be drawn into the system and spread into the conditioned space. An empty trap allows the ingestion of outside air during winter or non-cooling operation until condensate fills the trap. The two views show the blowing of condensate as the drain pan fills. Now, at 1.5 inches of water, condensate blowing becomes intense. Flow cannot occur at this pressure because water will overflow from the drain pan before drainage can begin. Also, as shown by paper placed in the blower air stream, water particles can be carried into the ductwork and cause damage to insulation and other components. Debris and algae growth frequently block traps, as shown here, and cause drain pan overflow, a common cause of building property damage and contamination. Condensate traps exposed to freezing temperatures can become blocked by ice, causing drain pan overflow. When freezing occurs, traps can become ruptured, as depicted here, and act like an empty trap, allowing air ingestion and condensate blowing during the cooling operation. These events cause damage to the air handler and the building, creating a perpetual internal wetness a fertile growth place for mold, bacteria, and other health-threatening biological contaminants. The property damage and maintenance effort required for this type system eliminates any hope for low life cycle cost. Further, since all the air inside a building may pass through the contaminated air handler several times per hour, health-threatening conditions are virtually certain. Thus, the use of systems equipped with condensate traps, in reality, rules out the realization of low HVAC operating cost and healthy building environments. The destruction and health threat caused by failed condensate drain systems are extensive. Conditions like depicted here are common and widespread. The wetted surfaces cause corrosion and provide a fertile growth place for contaminating organisms that result in costly property damage and significant health threats. The cause of these conditions are not readily visible to the building owner or manager, so the need to address the situation may not be apparent. Typically what they see during operation are units like the ones shown in these photographs. Only when the cabinet is open can the damage be revealed, as shown in these photographs. Why trap drain systems that allow property damage and health threats are so widely used and unchallenged is explainable. The condensate drain system is a unique component in the total system. It is an interface between the drain pan connection and the facility drain system, for which no entity accepts responsibility for its operation or failures. Hence, there is little interest in improving drain system performance. The building owners and managers are the victims, 
while others stand to gain in the form of more service calls and higher than necessary equipment replacement rates. An alternative to the failure prone condensate trap is the Cost Guard Condensate Drain Seal, a proven, reliable, advanced technology drain system that uses an air seal instead of a water seal, eliminating all the problems associated with the industry standard drain system. It provides a seal during all operating conditions, both heating and cooling, and in any climate. It is self-cleaning, self-regulating, and requires no maintenance. This seal protects the building owner or user against undue cost in terms of maintenance effort, property damage, early equipment replacement, and health care. For this reason, the word cost guard is used to identify this seal. For more information, visit TrentTech.com or contact us by phone at 903-509-4843 or contact us by email at costguard at trenttech.com.